everyone we thought was dead is still alive. Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be reviewing Old No Zero episode 13. If you haven't watched the episode yet, I highly recommend you check it out at crunchyroll.com by following the link in the description below and coming back to this video when you're done. With all that being said, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, so Old No Zero is back after a brief intermission and coincidentally there was also a brief intermission or rather a time skip within the episode that we got today. So episode 12, which was the last episode that we got a while ago, ended and episode 13 began 19 months later. So in the span of those 19 months, we're told that the Martians continued their invasion onto Earth and pretty much had taken over most of it and are enslaving the people because they were not using the Earth wisely or rather just taking advantage of it without any repercussion, which is a kind of reoccurring theme in our world as well with us kind of destroying the Earth that we live in. But that's a topic for another video. But anyways, we are told that there's still some conflict going on in your Asia, which is kind of, I presume, the area where um, Inaho and the Duke Halian are at because they're in Russia and that's kind of in the area of Eurasia, so there's some resistance there. However, as I mentioned, everyone that we thought was dead is still alive. Now when I say that, I'm referring to Inaho, uh, Princess Salem, and Count Sazbaum. I think that's his name, I probably butchered that. But the guy that kind of made all of these events unfold and the planned ass assassination of Princess Salem, if you remember correctly. Well, all of those people, we were presumed dead, or at least we were under the suspicion that they were dead because the anime just left us on a huge cliffhanger. If you remember correctly, Slain uh, shot uh, that count in the body and then he was going to shoot him in the head and we presumed he did, but he didn't. And then, of course, Princess Salem was shot twice by that count, and Slain shot Inaho. However, all those people are still alive. Count Sazbaum was spared by Slain. Princess Salem is in a DBZ kind of healing chamber aboard the Count's uh, orbital ship type of thing in space, and Inaho went to some medical facility, and now he's on some iRobot type of cyborg stuff. And that's pretty insane. They've got some great medicine in the Old No Zero world. Definitely got to give it up to them for that. And of course, we find that Inaho is still a badass. And he was sent to the Dukalion because he has access to Old Noah. So we get a huge revelation, and that's finding out that Inaho, of course, was still alive, but also has access to Old Noah. Now we find this out, we find out that. The transfer of Old Noah happened when he saved Princess Salem's life. Well, he did that a ton of times. When he saved Princess Salem's life in the bath, when they did kind of mouth to mouth, which makes a lot of sense because in episode 12 we saw that Slain had access to Old Noah and he also received mouth to mouth by Princess Salem. So apparently, kisses is a way to get the blessing of Old Noah. I wonder if the king kissed all the orbital knights. Highly unlikely, but I thought that that was really funny. So now, we've got a Terran that has access to Old Noah, even though the princess has been taken away by the Martians. So, all the cards are on the table, things are setting up, and Inoho, even without the Old Noah cataphracts or just access to Old Noah in general, has already defeated tons of orbital knights and he does it again in this episode. As he returns, we are just reminded of how much of a badass Inaho is by destroying that. I'm not sure if that guy was an orbital knight, but definitely he was a knight who was piloting the frozen uh, Salem or Elsium, whatever it was called. And he was just freezing everything. And of course, Inaho goes on another level and just destroys the man. If you saw the episode, you saw how cool that was. But now... 
Inaho is back in the Ducalian after a 19 month kind of break, wherever the heck he was. Apparently he was at headquarters. And he's back together with the whole crew, which is Inko. His, is it, was his sister there? They didn't show his sister. I wonder where she's at. Warren officer, I don't even remember her last name. Inko's there, Raihit's there, Calm's there, and Nina? Is Nina her name? Inko's friend. Well, they're all back together on the Ducalian, and they're headed into space. And coincidentally, that's also where Slain, Princess Salem, and the Count are. Now, before we end this review, we were also introduced to a new character in this episode. So there is a person impersonating Princess Salem because we know that she's kind of incapacitated in some type of coma in the DBZ healing chamber. And apparently her sister, I think it's not a stretch to say that it's her sister because they have the same blood, Princess Lemrima. Princess Lemrina. I, I just totally messed up that name. But she also has access to Ald Noah because of course she's a descendant of the king and she is impersonated Princess Salem. And now I wonder why Princess, well it makes sense that Princess Salem is such a huge part in this kind of war because it all started because she was assassinated. However, she's impersonating Princess Salem, kind of encouraging all the Martians and the Orbital Knights to just destroy Earth, well not destroy it, capture Earth and enslave it for themselves so they can have the resources and thus we have our plot for the rest of these episodes because all no zero is confirmed for 24 episodes we know it's an art is an anime original and that it has been confirmed for 24 episodes more than likely i think that this will end in 24 episodes i really don't see it going on any longer than that but again like i mentioned we have our plot princess salem is in the captor of the captives of the martians um and more than likely, she wants to be with Inoho and help the Terrans as she's wanted to do throughout the a whole 12 episodes prior to this one. And of course, I'm sure that Inoho and would like to save them. And then of course, the Earthlings are just trying to kind of trying to defend themselves against this Martian onslaught. But what's going to happen in space, we don't know. And I'm extremely excited to see what happens in episodes to come. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the episode in the comment sections below, as well as tell me who your MVP for this episode is. Mine definitely has to be Inaho because he came back better than ever with some eye robot type of cyborg eye that helps him measure distances a lot better, and he has all the Noah, so it's literally just an upgrade from the Inaho we knew from episodes of the past. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.